Hey guys, what's up? This is KSW and I'm so stoked to welcome you all to the very first tutorial. So I was loitering in the FL Studio settings uh, and I found this very useful tip that might help you save up on your CPU usage. There are many optimizations. Basically an optimization is to help your application, in this case FL Studio, to kind of match up with your CPU and to use FL Studio in a way that would optimally utilize all your resources in your CPU okay so all of the optimizations are kind of available on the internet but this one was kind of hidden so I wanted to put this out and this will definitely help a lot of people because it has definitely helped me a lot side note this is really important before applying this on your existing projects I would like you to try it on on a different project or save a copy of the existing project because this is basically used for a heavier project it might scramble your playlist a bit sometimes like slightly and I'll show you why it will do that just press F10 go to your project settings and there is this uh, column called time base PBQ so PBQ is pearls per quarter note okay right now it is set by default at 96 what we can do is we can go and uh, set it at 24 because usually you won't need to really align something 24 pulses per quarter note okay that is very intricate and usually if you're doing EDM or you're not editing a lot of audio clips you won't really need that sort of intricacy so I'll tell you what it really does time base of 96 is basically the resolution of your playlist press f5 and uh, we'll go to the playlist right now I can zoom in this much and the PPQ is basically the resolution for your playlist uh, if I were to set it at 960 my playlist will zoom in even more like insanely more now this comes at a cost check this check this out though now this comes at a cost when I have my PPQ set at 960, it will be more intense on your CPU. If you were to switch it to 24 right now, what it will really do is, you can really zoom, but check the scroller out. You can't zoom in that much. And uh, for the projects, if you ask me, once I am done with my arrangement and I really need to hear the whole thing properly, I can make do with less zoom and instead have that processing power fuel my project okay so uh, what happens is now you can't really put a clip and really go into the minute details right now i can only snap it four or six times perhaps but uh, if i were to have it at 960 or even 96 there would be a lot of snappings here in in this very portion okay so uh, if you have a certain clip here and it is not available in the 24 like that grid is not available in 24 it will definitely snap to that grid and then it may ruin your project so before doing all that before checking the setting out i think you should definitely check all your uh, grid lines and you should check if you have any audio clips which are off the grid uh, like the basic quarter note grid and then go ahead with this tip because if you are going to apply this or use this on a heavy project directly you might want to double check okay so i don't want to be the reason that you spoil your project once you downgrade to 24 you can obviously upgrade to 96 but it, it won't automatically snap your audio clips back to 96 is what i want you all to know okay so that is all from me and i guess this is one hell of a tip from 96 time base go to 24 and there you are enjoy and by the way, check this dope FL Studio custom skin out. Okay, anyway, so much for bragging. Do subscribe, turn on the notifications because I'm going to be uploading a lot of content very regularly. A lot of useful tips and techniques. Nice talking to you guys. Bye-bye. See you in the next one. Cheers.